This is an absolutely fascinating study of non-contrast and contrast enhanced CT, looking at a 60-year-old asymptomatic individual undergoing a multi-level non-contrast CT scan. Look at the arrow. As you go down through the individual slices, you can see an oblong-shaped area of very low density that appears to have normal epicardium on the other side of the region. What is this? Could it be a lipoma? That is the most common non-cancerous lesion of the heart. Here's an example of what a lipoma looks like. You can see at the arrow, this is extra epicardial or subpericardial in nature. So it's not a lipoma. What about fatty infiltration? ARVD can be biventricular in overall characteristics. Here is fatty infiltration of the right ventricular epicardial surface. Again, it is epicardial, extra epicardial, and therefore this is not typical fatty infiltration. Let's then look at this patient a little bit differently. Let's look at the individual patient with contrast enhancement of the left ventricular area. You can again see at the arrow the oblong area of low density. But this appears to be subendocardial in nature. If you look at the functional characteristics at a single slice at the same area, you can start to understand the characteristics of this particular lesion. Again, going phase by phase, you can see that this is subendocardial and yet involves very little of the myocardium in terms of functional characteristics. But as you look at the dynamic characteristics of this, you'll see at most mild hypokinesia of the inferior lateral myocardial wall. This is definitely a fat density, definitely subendocardial, and at most mild hypokinesia. Now, additional findings also showed 100% occlusion of the second diagonal branch of the left anterior descending coronary artery. This is fat replacing dead myocardium or scar through a process called lipomatous metaplasia following a prior subendocardial infarction. Here's the pathology of this. You can see the endocardial surface one with the fatty vacuolization of the subendocardium in the same region, and then normal myocardium in the subepicardial region. 